Hello, welcome to our new lecture. Symbols used to represent irreducible representations. So, how much symbols we can uh, use to represent irreducible representation? They are eight symbols. So, these symbols are A, B, E, T, G, U, 1, and 2. So, these are different symbols which are used generally to represent irreducible representation. So, what is the meaning of A? Where we use A, where we use B, where we use C. So, let, let's we uh, start from A. So, where we use the symbol A. So, e, A is used for a singly degenerate, singly degenerate state which is symmetric, that is symmetric with respect to with respect to rotation around principal axis means cn so a is singly degenerate state which is symmetric with respect to rotation around principal axis that is cn then what is b where we use the symbol b so b is generally used for singly degenerate state which is not symmetric which is anti symmetric with respect to rotation around principal axis okay then third symbol is e third symbol is e so what e represents generally e represents about doubly degenerate states it represents about doubly degenerate so we can write it as doubly degenerate so these symbols they are used when there is state and the states are doubly degenerate and what is, what is the meaning of T? T means triply degenerate. Triply degenerate. You have already uh, known, you have already heard about E and T in octahedral complexes. Already you have heard. So E, E means doubly. When a tetrahedral or a, an octahedral complex is split in a crystal field, then they will the, the the d orbital is split generally into two sets one is e and one is t so t means triply degenerate triply degenerate in that case triply degenerate means dxy dyz and dzx and e means dx square y square and dz square so now the fourth symbol a fifth symbol which is used to represent and uh, is a reducible representation is G and U. These are very important. So these are G. G. G means G rate. G rate. And what do you mean by G rate? G rate generally G and U they are used as subscript. They are used as subscript in terms or states. So G rate. G rate means symmetric symmetric with respect to which symmetric with respect to the center in of inversion center of inversion so what do you mean we mean it by that the wave functions generally the wave sign the wave sign generally they do not change 
they do not change when there is a change in the inversion to the center so the terms the term used in the subscript is g and when this u is used this u means un g rate un g rate un g rate un g rate means this is anti symmetric un g rate means this is anti symmetric anti symmetric means generally the wave function the wave function uh, the wave function sign do not change then it is known as g and when wave function sign change on inversion through the center then it is known as u then this is known as u now 1 1 and 2 these two symbols they are also used in the subscript of the terms subscript of the terms or subscript of the states so what do, what do we mean by this 1 so 1 means the sign of wave function generally do not change with the rotation about the center of atom. So, wave function sign generally it do not change. It do not change with rotation. Rotation around center of atom and what do you mean by 2 this 2 indicates this is also used in subscript and this indicates that wave function sign changed means 2 means the wave function sign changes changes with rotation around center of atom okay so we uh, the definition according to the definition we can understand all about all the symbols now we will take some examples with the examples we we, we try to understand about these symbols so take an example of octahedral complex octahedral complex in octahedral complex d orbital it generally it takes into t2g and eg set the d orbital it is it is splits into eg and t2g set so why we named these orbitals and group these orbitals into two types of orbitals t2g and eg so what do you mean by e g at subscript t n at subscript 2g so we can uh, these are the term symbols these are the symbols that are used to represent 5d orbitals so under eg dx square y square and dz square and under T2G, DXY3 orbitals become DYZ and DZX. So, what we, what we mean by, meant by this T? T is used for triply. Triply means there are three orbitals. DXY, DYZ and DZX. So, there are three orbitals. Three orbitals means triple, triply. So, we use term T. And here, only two orbitals are there dx square y square and dz square means two it is doubly degenerate it means we can represent these two orbitals by a symbol e so e means doubly degenerate two orbitals double and t means triply degenerate means three orbitals triple triply degenerate means three orbitals they are having same energy doubly degenerate means two orbitals with the same energy so e and t means doubly degenerate and triply degenerate now what is g what is g in dx square y square orbital and dz square orbital 
if we rotate these orbitals along c4 axis there will be no change in wave function psi so these two orbitals they are represented as eg set eg set we can see so this example so this orbital this is x this is y and this is z so this orbital is dx square y square and this orbital is dz square so in this case the both these two orbitals if we rotate this by 180 degree we will get the similar orientation and no change in wave function or we can say that if we go from here to here there is no change in sign from positive from to positive when you go from here to here the the sign is not they are not changed we are going from negative to negative if we go from here to here we can see that no change in sign plus to plus and from here to here the sign will remain as such from minus to minus so such kind of geometry they are taken under g these are known as g or g rate orbital subscript is g rate g is used in their symbols because they are two so p is used and because there is no change in the wave function sign when we invert the molecule through the center this is inversion when we invert these two orbitals there is no change in wave function sign so this comes under eg now if we take the three orbitals three orbitals which have having equal energy so these orbitals they are in between the axes and they are known as dxy dyz and dzx these are in between the axes and because they are having all the three are of equal energy so because all the three are of equal energy so these are put under the symbol d d for triply triply means three so there are three orbitals they are having the same energy so if this is x this x is y this orbital is dxy so this is x this is z and this is dxz and if
in a square planar complex, all the s, p, and d orbitals, they are categorized as s and d z square orbital. They are categorized as a1, g. The irreducible symbol is a1, g for s and d z square. For p z orbital, it is a to u. p x and p y, these have similar energy and these falls under irreducible representation that is e u. Then d x y, d x y, it is b to g, it is represented by b to g. d x square y square, it is represented by b 1 g d y z and d z x they are under e g z so now one by one we will explain how we can represent these different orbitals by these different symbols so first of all we will take an example of s and d z square orbital so this is s orbital it can be represented either by plus or either by minus or dz square it can be represented as this is z axis so it can be represented as such we can use it by either plus or minus symbol or we can use it by filling one of the loaf we can uh, uh, suggest that it can be plus the field orbital can be suggested as plus low or likewise this can be represented as this field loop uh, this can be represented as plus and this is minus so if you see this s orbital or dz square orbital one by one so in this case s orbital if we rotate this s orbital along the c n axis of rotation we will find that there will be no change in wave function sign so it comes under the category a a means singly degenerate state or term which is symmetric with respect to axis of principal axis of rotation so if we rotate this along principal axis of rotation that is cn we will get the similar wave function sign similar is the case if we rotate this dz square orbital along cn axis we will get the similar wave function sign so this is also under category a it is single number one is single and other is we have written two things at its super subscript that is 1 and g. 1 means the sign of wave function does not change upon rotation about the center of atom. So if we rotate this orbital like this from the center of this, if we rotate this molecule from the center of rotation, we will get this similar sign. So these sign will not change. Again, the wave function sign will not sign will not change. So these will come under category one. One means no change in sign of wave function when we rotate these orbitals along the center of atom. And then G rate. G rate means the wave function sign do not change when we invert through the center. So if we invert If we invert this along the center, then there will be no change in wave function. So these two will come under category A1, G. Now we will discuss about the 3P orbital, Pz, Px and Py. So if this is Z axis, the P orbital is like this one lobe is positive and another lobe is negative 
in case of px if this is x direction x axis then this is px orbital and if it is y then this will be y orbital and one loop of each p orbital will be positive wave function sign so in this case this p orbit pz orbital is represented as a to u while these two orbitals they have similar energy so these can be presented as e u now what do you mean by e e means doubly degenerate one and two there are two orbitals so e e means doubly degenerate and now what is the meaning of u u means if we invert this small this orbital if we invert then we will get the change in wave function sign so this plus this minus this will change this will look like this so after inversion these orbitals will look like this so there is change in wave function sign so these will come under category u so these orbitals are eu and in this case if we rotate this uh, pz orbital along cn axis then we will get the similar wave function sign the sign will not change sign will remain the same so it comes under category a a means singly degenerate singly degenerate and the wave functions will not change when we rotate this orbital along cn axis that is principal axis so now what is the meaning of u again if we invert this orbital we will get the changed wave function sign this plus this minus then after inversion this will become plus and this will become minus so change in wave function sign or if we can if we, we can say that if we go from here to here the change in sign will be observed from minus to plus so this is u and what is 2 2 means if we rotate this orbital along c2 axis center of atom then again the sign will change so this positive will become negative and negative will become positive so this can be represented by two so there are three things one is cn axis other is c2 axis if we rotate this by c2 that is 180 degree angle then we will get the different wave function sign and third one is inversion so if we invert this orbital we will get the different wave function sign so singly degenerate and cn means a c2 different wave function sign then it is 2 and inversion when we get the different wave function sign then it is under ungenerate condition now representation of 3d orbitals of a square panel complex according to the there is a disciple representation so dxy
उसको एप्लेनर कॉम्प्लेक्स एस ऑर्बिटल एंड डी जेड स्क्वायर ऑर्बिटल दे कम्स अंडर कैटेगरी ई वन जी देर इिबल रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज ए वन जी देन ई जेड कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई ए टू यू पी एक्स एंड पी वाई कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज ई यू डी एक्स वाई कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज बी टू जी डी एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर can be represented as b1g and dyz and dxz can be represented by eg